In this video, we're going to see how we can dissolve shapefiles in ArcGIS. So dissolve is another tool in the geoprocessing unit window. So we're going to try to do that. So in the last video, we had merged the three different shapefiles into single shapefiles. Now, in this time, we're going to merge the three different polygons into a single polygon. So let's do that. So to do that, we're going to go to geoprocessing and then we're going to go to the dissolve just click on there now it'll tell you something about the dissolve the side right here let me make it bigger and there you go it says <coughs> aggregates features based on specified attributes okay so that is what it does and there's the image showing what it does okay so let's input the features that we want to dissolve so here we have the indo park area now that is all that we want to deserve and the outward feature class we're just going to uh, give it here and give it a name let's say indo park dissolved let's save click on ok now it is dissolving as you can see here it, uh, it can take a while and it has been dissolved as you can see there are no longer boundary lines if I had uh, let me turn it off there you go there were boundary lines of this three different polygons and if I go to the attributes table there were three different polygons now for the new one let's uncheck that check the new one there you go there are no uh, boundary polygons there which uh, are defining three countries now there's just a single polygon let's go to some extent now let's take a look at the attributes table so attributes table is now empty because everything uh, the attributes table had hold on the Indo Park area file that was of three individual polygons. Now since the polygons are merged and combined into a single polygon, so they cannot retain any of the former data there. So this polygon is a blank polygon that we may have to repopulate. So that is how you can dissolve shape files in ArcGIS. I'm just going to remove that because I don't need that. This is much better for me. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you got to learn something new. If you have found the video to be useful, please like and consider subscribing to the channel as it will enable me to make more videos like this one. Thank you.